Hello everybody, welcome to Be Nice To Me, game number 16 versus some lizard men with a gigantic TV advantage. Uh, not the biggest TV advantage I've ever seen on a man, but uh, pretty big TV advantage, so that's nice, isn't it? Oh, it's Copex, not Corpax. He's 510, but he has got lizard men, so that is not an indication that he has any idea how to play Blood Bowl whatsoever, because it is lizard men. Um, Somebody could probably go 100 0 on this at the end. <laughs> Maybe not. I've got about 30 wins in a row, I think, with uh, 30 wins in a row with Lizard Men on Fumble, I believe. Um, so there you go. Something. I had a really good. I had a really good thing on really good run on Fumble with Lizards. Maybe it was like 50 unbeaten or something. But I had some crazy run with Lizards on. Uh, and fumble. That was actually shit. It was actually completely shit. Disregard. Disregard that. It was a rubbish. I mean, it was a good record, but it wasn't a great run. 20 unbeaten. Bleh. Bleh. Lame. Lame. Hello, Yuri Styles. Not bad, thanks. Not bad. Oh, he's got Silly Billy. Good choice. Why, why, why not? Good old Elliot. Good old L Yod. Good till 3M. He said he'd snipe me as well. <laughs> Do I uh, kick to have the death roll on defense? Maybe. Oh, but he's lizards. Oh. Well, it seemed a good idea until I realised he was lizards, and he's probably the favourite because he's lizards. <laughs> Whoopsie. God, why are lizards so OP? Really feeling the OPness. You've got the biggest old penis I ever saw in Blood Bowl. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hello, Necronome. It's really weird, isn't it? It's really weird, the... Uh... That clip. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it just depends, right? It depends on the matchup, what you want. It's it's just really good either way. If you think you're in for a hard match, then Bebby's having it on offense just to get the draw is good, right? So, like, maybe I should have... But I thought, seeing as I've got such a TV advantage... Like he's got a lot. Of, he hasn't got a lot of skills in his Saurus, has he? So his, his skills are all on his Skinks, which made me think. Even though he's five one zero, all the skills are in his Skinks. So maybe this isn't too hard a game. So therefore, put it on defense to try and get the stop or turnover, and win. But if it's going to be a really hard game. Then putting them on offense, so you get the uh, you get to go one nil up, like almost for sure, and then not lose. It's pretty powerful, isn't it? But um, if it's a game you think you can win, I think putting them on defense to increase the chance of winning is good. Of course, if you put them on defense, they might score in two turns to get rid of him. 
if they do that, then often you will just 2-1 grind them anyway, so it's not that bad. It is not Sorite, nor Yuri Styles. If you don't want to get banned, you should never say that ever again. It's Saurus. Blocklessaurus are not pathetic. They are still... They are still strength 4. <laughs> they still require assists to punch. Multiple assists to punch. They're still movement 6. They still dominate space. They are very, very powerful. Very powerful. Yuri Styles, there's a gym verdict on it. You're really pushing to get yourself banned here. It's Saurus. Games work there's no need for a Thesaurus. Games Workshop called them Saurus, right? If I invent if I invent a, a, a race of, of lizard people called Yuri Styles is pissing me off, and I say the plural of Yuri Styles is pissing me off is Yuri Styles is pissing me off. Then that's what the that's what the plural is. You don't get to look up at a fucking thesaurus and say, no, it's Yuri Styles is pissing me off. No, it's not. It's Saurus. End of. <laughs> End fucking of. It's a games workshop fabricated species. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it fucking is. <laughs> All right. I want to hit. I want to hit silly Billy, but he's stand firm and guard. But like, I want the boys in the middle, don't I? Rather than on the sides. Maybe I could have them on the side everywhere. Could go on the side here. It's not terrible, is it? Get up there, my son. This is weak. If I go here... That covers everything, doesn't it? <laughs> no, you weren't really pissing me off. I just said that because it was funny. Well, I thought it was funny. Exactly, Pogler. If you, if you won't die on the hill of... So, the plural of Saurus is Saurus, then, you know, that's it. What can I say? Oh, Dimmy has beaten Dr. Funk in SFL. Very exciting. Has Artemis made a new dwarf team? It sure looks like it. Oh, he likes the dwarfs, doesn't he? He really likes the dwarfs, does Artemis. It could be, yeah, Steve. I haven't really paid attention to the Euros division as much. But, oh, God, yeah, Dimmy was on... One drawn, two losses, no wins. Dr. Funk still winless. Now goes to 0 1 3. Flicky has won all three of his games. Chunter has won three, drawn one. I've won three, drawn one. In NA. 
Moridam, Milkman of Death, both winless in NA, Sick as Eggs, Steve and Dr. Funk, all winless in EU. That's a bold statement, Flicky. But I like where you're coming from. Skuro would, uh, Skuro would enjoy that. So we can block him, block him, and hit the ball, right? That seems acceptable. If we get the pal here. And the pal here. To GFI either way. him with 90 or hit him with 90. I guess hit him in case it's uh, not a, not a uh, pal. Just kill the Saurus. Fuck killing the skinks, just kill the Saurus. Glorious. Shame about the diving tackle, otherwise I could have bezzed through here, couldn't I? <laughs> Little bastard. Now I guess he's got to uh, sit back here. Maybe go, maybe just go there. No need, no need to overcommit. That was a pretty good turn, wasn't it? That was a pretty good turn. I did know that, Jenny. Oh, it's Kant. <laughs> HTK. Armor was a 10, injury was an 11. And his armor was a 7, so obviously I did them the wrong way around there because had this hit been Mighty Blow, it would have. That, that would have been a Kaz without Mighty Blow. And if this had been Mighty Blow, it would have broken his armor, so I definitely did it the wrong way around. You are more likely to have Mighty Blow trigger, aren't you, by hitting lower TV, but the lower armor. But the, I mean, the thing was, if this wasn't a push, then uh, if it wasn't a power, then I can push him and uh, hit him again. Whereas if I just push him away, where's, where's my blitz go? Nobody knows. Doesn't pick it up with his block guy. That's good. Okay. <laughs> but this guy can get powered. We can double GFI hit. Yes, he's got a GFI. He has to do the GFI. He has to. Can mighty blow him and sit on the ball.
I could potentially punch him to free here. Yeah, glitter. Flip me. This ball down's rubbish. Okay, good. Should be able to free this guy next turn. He's already free. Get them deep. This guy maybe should have been a bit deeper, but I wouldn't need to connect to that guy. He's in a bit of a pickle still, isn't he? He's in a bit of a pickle. Finally blitzing his kink, yeah. I mean to be fair, when you've got tack block tackle mighty blow and they are where you want to blitz, then blitzing them is great. <laughs> it's amazing how like automatic playing Blood Bowl is for me, that like things like riots really, really throw me off because I'm so used to just like naturally knowing what turn it is. But this is like a little bit late in the half and I just kind of didn't realize. Play there obviously should have punched him 2D instead of dodging, but gets away with it. Maybe I should have rerolled the 2D on him. Replaces the guy who we just had the assist there. <laughs> amazing. Oh, amazing. I'll reroll this if I have to. Double cheer for. Dodge off, maybe. Problem is, like, him reversing field, isn't it? He just needs a GFI, though, to help considerably. Free this guy. Hey. 
Because I, I just explained it, didn't I? If he comes back here. And going down there isn't that likely. So this is the the one, ah, but then he can free him. So like if I could have got that in first and that like if I could do both of these without rolls then I would want him there I guess cuz now I've got quite a lot about against him reversing Could have also just dodged him as well actually It was a four plus there wasn't it cuz the tail I mean, this would have been better to stop on the immediate score, for sure. It's only three threes, isn't it? Like, that might be his best shot going down here. And yeah, if, if I could have got all of these here without dice rolls, then yeah, absolutely go there, just stop the score. Because then I've probably got enough to reverse field. Like, if he reverses the field, I've probably got enough cover. But this was all dice rolls to get all this shit here. But yeah, I did let him free that guy up. I mean, he could have done that anyway, to be fair. No. No, baby. One in six and a one in nine. Hey, it was a 1D. Because of the guard. Amazing. Amazing. I could surf him now. I think just punch him. Him. Well, I've got a blitz somewhere, haven't I? This is all a bit fucked now, isn't it? I guess he can go up there. And then he can do him. Or he could blitz him. Like this, this, this splits is the one, isn't he? He's the chosen one, Big Jeffrey. risky now, isn't it, this block? Oh, 
Now oh, I could have just blitzed with the roller. That was an idea, actually. Keep him there and then blitz with the roller to make it a safe block. Oh, grab. Grab freeing up the crocs. Wow, well done, Moradan. Goblins not losing the woodies is pretty great. Oh, and he gets the extra hit on him, fuck's sake. Hey, he didn't get him! Oh, this is, oh, yes, he scored! <laughs> You're telling me there's a chance? Amazing. Amazing. Boy, howdy. Oh, fucking die, will you? Surf him with a runner. Quite like that, to be honest. Oh no, I was gonna, I was gonna blitz the, uh, I was gonna blitz the Crocs, wasn't I? Never mind. Whoopsie. Oh well. Kaz is okay, I guess. If this was a 1D to free him, and then it would have been a 1D blitz, so it wouldn't have been easy. But yeah, that was that was a mistake. But I mean, Taz did, so that's alright, isn't it? But yeah, that was a mistake. He should have just stood there, I guess. He should have just stood there. And then I should have done that 1D, which would have been double. And then came in there, 1D blitz the Crocs. Move him up. Probably still wouldn't have scored. I'd done all these edge fours. So it would have been a pass. Bit of the balls up. Yeah, it's still a successful defense, isn't it? It's all right. Be it's out of range. Unless he pushes him the wrong way. Which he did. No, I guess he wants to blitz with him. So. Fish for a pow. Silly Billy's too good. Just that one guard facilitated everything, it's so good. Second half's gonna be tough. He didn't really accomplish anything because he's got reserves.
Hmm, this guy. Doesn't really seem worth it, so silly Billy again. Down. Mm. Not gonna foul the skink. What do you think I am? A fucking redditor? Think I'm on fucking Reddit, Kratos? Diced. Darling skin made no difference at all. Which is why I didn't. Hmm. Tricky. I guess I didn't really need the roller on that drive. Maybe I should have saved it for offense. Bad thing is, if you try and save it for offense, then I mean, I could have just won. I'd won the toss, didn't I? I could have just gone on offense and used it on offense. of garden mighty blow. I guess put field the second runner here. Is that a good idea? Less tackle against skinks. But more movement. More protection against dice. I do like this setup, I should make a YouTube video about it. Just to try and successfully defend the boom and increase the odds of winning. I was trying to increase my win odds. Kratos was not right, no. Kratos was unequivocally wrong, Steve. There is no argument for Kratos being right. <laughs> but at least I listened to him. <laughs> at least I responded. <laughs> yeah, because he's, he's got he's got a skink bench, so so casting a skink would have made no difference. I guess it would have made a difference in that you'd have had one less diamond tackle or whatever. But realistically, if like if he's down a Saurus, that's that's impactful, isn't it? And. Uh, if he's, you know, fouling the Saurus means he can make, you can make, he's got a field, a skink instead of a Saurus, which is a big deal. A bigger deal than having Daring Tackle and Sidestep. It's very feasible, yes, here is still. This guard is annoying, isn't it? Blitz in general is just super annoying. Especially with Lizards go back. Good. Good. I guess we just knock down the line. Oh my god. Oh man. That is the worst, isn't it? That is the absolute worst. Blitz into dub skulls.
God, that wasn't a double one. Go up here. I guess. This one's not so nice today. I'm still pushing further away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, I can't do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, I can't do that. Get him in there. Fuck off, silly Billy. Let's try for this one. Brilliant. so he doesn't get so <sighs> what a horrible start that blitz was would have been a lot better having a death roller to deal with that like lizards are better on offense maybe I should have just received and used the roller one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven players left for Tom Schnees. <laughs> Holy moly. Good players, though, that he's got. Yeah, I, li I like the Roger for the bit of punch, yeah. I did have a Troll Slayer, but um, it's kind of unnecessary with a Death Roller, I think. And also, he died. <laughs> so, yeah, he just died. So I was like, well, it is what it is, isn't it? I quite like the Troll Slayer, to be honest. Just give him Pom. Give him Pom and kill things. But it's a bit more bloat, isn't it? On a, uh, a bit more bloat on a roller team, which isn't ideal. doing Burt. I've really got to avoid Dimmy. The last thing I need is a loss to Burt. Oh, this is really hard. Yeah, I should have had the roll of the offense. <sighs> yeah, alright. Instant regret. Lizards are just OP, aren't they? Here I was thinking that, you know, his team wasn't very good and I had a TV advantage. But it's bloody, uh, it's bloody lizards, isn't it? It's bloody lizards. Oh man. Well, lesson learned. Lesson learned, I guess. Versus lizards. 
roller on offense. And just lose. Just lose now? That's fucking stupid, isn't it? Ah, very annoying. Very annoying just losing. But, like, at least if I'd gone offense, I would have drawn, right? Roller would have dominated his crocs and would have had another guard and I would have gone 1 0 up. And then just at least drawn. Whereas I was putting on the roller to get the turnover on defense. Or the early score. Neither happened. Because uh, this is this team is lizard men, Flicky Flack. Um, if you've never seen them before, they have six saurus, which are uh, movement six and strength four. Uh, very powerful. They've got a croxago, which is movement six and strength five. And then they also have this star player called Silly Billy, who's movement seven, strength four, block guard, uh, stand firm. So yep, yep. This is why we're losing. They are basically unbeatable, unless you dice them to death. <laughs> and I kind of forgot about that. I kind of forgot about that fact. Which is maybe an idiotic fact to forget about. But, um... You know, I did forget. I did forget that lizards are completely fucking utterly bonkers broken. Um, and that's a bit of a mistake to make. But hey. Oh, big pow. Big pow. That lets us do things. If I might as well just make the 1D, I guess. Oh, but Skull's really bad, isn't it? Fuck it, I don't care. Stupid fucking team. Why didn't I? Why didn't I go on offense? Why? The roller could have made it a successful offense. This is fine. This is die or fine, Flicky. This is die or fine. We're staring down the barrel of a 1 0 loss here. He has lizard men. <laughs> <laughs> he has a lizard man team. <laughs> I mean, I'm not really complaining. I'm just acknowledging the severity of the situation. Like, this is really fucking bad. Like, the stun on, on Silly Billy's great, to be fair. That gives us a lot. Gives us a lot of chances. Like, him not having a guarder. For a turn, but... He just, oh, well, there you go, one in nine, nice. But he just bangs people down, right? Can't stop him banging people down. Like, it's just horrible. Right? It's absolutely horrible. It's absolutely, like, it's so fucking horrible. Just Saurus banging down all the, okay, there you go, a bit of luck there. Saurus banging your guys down and there's nothing you can do about it. It's just fucking stupid, isn't it? I, I might just score early to get a touchdown at all. That honestly seems the best play. Just try and score it all. We're just potato here. 
Just potato field. For the draw. Oh, he's not. He's not sidestep. Potato field for the draw. The skink didn't kaz it, unbelievably. Reddit, Reddit guaranteed a kaz on that roll. Unfortunately, didn't happen. Didn't automatically kill all the skinks. I was lied to. Even the tato isn't that good because uh, he's got diving tackle, hasn't he? thinks this is fine by the way I know this might be your little pep talk if, if it's a pep talk flicky to try and make me positive fair enough but this is not fine like this is so not fucking fine <laughs> it's horrendous Wow, okay, it's fine if he keeps rolling shit. To be fair, he's had some horrendous dice. If he keeps rolling horrendous dice, we've got a chance. I guess I uphill the crocs. I guess I gotta blitz him first though. Oh wow, that's pretty good. I can one day the crocs. Is that a good idea? I don't know. freed him, couldn't I? I forgot about the stand firm. Oh, Kaz didn't good. Oh, that was a good play then. Because we made a Kaz, that was a good play. I think it's probably better to not hit him now. Probably best to not hit these either. But he just pals him. And it's an instant 2D, so I've got it. Oh wow. Wow, it's really really good him double sculling with his block guy. Yeah, if I hadn't if I hadn't done that then he might have won in nine right now he's free to move. But it was only one in six.
Yeah, like, I have diced him a bit. And, uh... I mean, not really. I guess he's had some... He's made a Randor cars. I've made... I, I guess I've hit him with Mighty Blow a lot, and he hasn't hit with me. So I guess... I guess maybe... I've made three cars, and he's made one. Probably about even. Probably about even on dices. It's just he's got fucking ridiculously overpowered broken lizardmen. And I don't. Ugh. Okay. Well, that's, that's nice, isn't it? Oh, diced. Maybe I should have re-rolled that, right, to get the guard up. That would have been so good. Maybe I blitz him to get the guard in, then 2D him. Chain him, uh, chain him to there. 2D him. That's only a one at the moment. I mean, just too deemy with the skinks, but. How are lizards broken? <laughs> well, you see, dwarves are movement four <laughs> and strength three. And lizards are movement 6 and strength 4. 50% faster and 33 and a third percent stronger. That's quite good. According to complete idiots. Yes, Ordon. <laughs> Pretty high. Pretty high odds. Pretty high odds he gets the power, but I mean, I mean, there's nowhere I could go and nothing I could do, right? Wow, he doesn't free the Saurus. Could just free the Saurus there, couldn't he? He could have like he could have freed the Saurus and three D the ball. making blockless blocks. A blockless block! This is right in the way though, isn't it? You're not even blitzing the ball. Oh, the worst thing is, when I fail this dodge, you can just scot. Mm. He doesn't have to, does he? He knows that I can't dodge. Right, there's one dude. 
I need to power him. <laughs> no, I don't need to power him. I need to not do that one. Well, that's disappointing, isn't it? Could blitz him to get a scoring threat. Otherwise, I've got a one D him. Oh no! Yeah, no one D him. And go for dodges. If I don't power him, he sidestepped to there, and I can't score. I can't dodge. Maybe I shouldn't have made that block. I should have dodged him off. To have a scoring threat. Yeah, Fluffy Burrito, yeah. Yeah, I was stupid. I just thought I'd, I'll use it to turn him over on defense and go 1 0 up on defense. And then I can turtle on offense and win 1 0, right? That was my plan. But my plan should have been to have, uh, to have scored on offense and then draw 1 1. I should try to dodge him off. If I if I just dodged him off instead of two D, and I'd have had a scoring threat. Got to chain him twice. He's gonna get chained four times. Four times. Three times. Just not possible, is it? You would need like two players here, four players there. So, like four players. It needs four players. It needs two there and two players here. So, it needs one, two, three, four, five, six more players, which I just don't have. And then blitz him, which pushes him forward. And then block him into there, into there, into there. So it's absolutely not possible. Um, he doesn't have a scoring threat, so. Ultimately, I fucked up not just blocking with him like a moron. Yeah, I should have just dodged him off. 
Because the, the power didn't do anything. He should have just dodged away last turn. And it was still being low odds, but at least I could have gone for it. But lesson learned against Lizards here. I mean, could have still have won this. But I guess it's more likely to stop them on defence than it is to score on offence without the roller. I don't I couldn't, I couldn't potato because they were both fucking diving tackle. If I tried to potato, they just pick it up and score. Like that was the bad thing. Like they, they were both sidesteppers with diving tackles, so like I just couldn't even try a potato against them. Very sad. Very sad nil nil. I mean, it could have been a one nil then, I guess, with some better dice or whatever. Hmm. Hmm. 61 blocks. That was, I mean, that was a lot of blocks, to be fair. Maybe having the roller on defense was okay. 40, 34, 42. So pretty decent block dice. He, his block dice were terrible. 42, 33, 23. His block dice were horrendous. Basically, he got diced. And still drew. Yeah, I guess I needed the roller on offense. Lesson learned. Roller on offense. Against lizards. Never mind. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.